Okay, folks, if you don't want to be spoiled, I suggest you click off of here right now because this is a major spoiler. I'll give you a few seconds. All right, now on to the TNA World Title Tournament. The winner of that tournament is Magnus. I, I kind of thought he was going to win it. I wasn't hoping he was going to win. I was hoping actually that Rude, Bobby Rude would win. But, I mean, it might be good for Magnus and TNA. I don't know. I think they should have AJ Styles come back and beat Magnus, though. I mean, Styles is a, a much bigger name than Brutus Magnus. You know, Styles can do a whole lot more for the company than what Magnus can. You know, every... Even people that don't watch TNA that I've talked to, they still know the AJ Styles name. They've still... They've heard of him. They might may not know what all he's done, but they've definitely heard of him. I really couldn't see them letting Magnus hold the title very long. You know, it might be another Chris Sabin title run. I think it was, what, a week, two weeks? You know, I even James Storm, he only held it a week. But I really don't see them letting Magnus carry it for that long. You know, I think, you know, just like everybody else thinks, the whole plan is, is to have Styles come back and unify the titles. And I can just hear it now. When Styles comes back, and, you know, the match is booked against him and Magnus, title for title, you know, I can just hear it now, you know, everybody saying, well, they're copying WWE right now, because WWE's doing that same exact storyline. Well, you know, TNA has been building up for this before WWE even decided to unify their titles. And plus, it's a whole different angle here. I mean, we're talking, you know, it's been done before, don't get me wrong, Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon. You know, it, and it's been done way before WWE done it. 